and hunt in Mays County ends with the officers and deputies from three different agencies shooting a suspect. Tonight, a Tahlequah man is dead, and the investigation is just getting started. Thanks for being here with us tonight. I'm Russ McCaskey. Karen Larson is on assignment. Now, that shooting happened after a high-speed chase. Two News reporter Brandon Richards shows us how it all unfolded. It's usually a quiet, sleepy neighborhood. But on Thursday, the Oakwood Acres Housing Edition found itself crawling with police. It began when a police officer on routine patrol for the Grand River Dam Authority spotted a stolen car. Instead of pulling over for the officer, the man and woman inside the car sped off. Within five miles, it was a short pursuit. Suspect vehicle crashed out here in a residential neighborhood near a pond. The driver, 32-year-old Claudia Taylor of Tahlequah, surrendered immediately. But authorities say her passenger, 30-year-old Dustin Sherrill, also of Tahlequah, took off running. The male subject ran to a wooded area just east of here uh, where a, a manhunt then uh, uh, was set up. As OHP and deputies searched for the suspect, teachers and students here at Pryor High School were ordered to stay inside as the building was placed on lockdown. Eventually, three officers from three different agencies, OHP, Mays County Sheriff, and GRDA, were led by search dogs to this wooded area behind Oakwood Acres. Shortly after, suspect uh, came out of the woods and was brandishing a firearm that was a pistol. And what happened next is now at the center of the OSBI's investigation. Once the officers felt threatened and the firearm, the handgun, was raised and pointed in their direction, Officers returned fire. Suspect was shot and killed on scene here. All three officers fired their guns. Investigators can't say whether Cheryl fired at the officers first, but they do say officers were aware that the suspect had a gun because of information provided by Taylor. As for Taylor, she was booked into the Mays County Jail for possession of a stolen vehicle. Reporting in Pryor, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Brandon, thanks. Now, the OSBI says that Cheryl was on probation for possession of another stolen vehicle at the time this incident occurred.